today's video which is on the environment and resources i am dd savant department of geography from jt art science and commerce college from in maligon district nasik now the topic which is on a environment and resources as a, the natural resources in the form of matter and energy are of vital significance for the successful survival of all types of life on the planet earth in general and for human being in particular in fact all aspects of human society as social cultural political and economic depends on the resources as this uh, therefore which is a meaning classification assessment and evaluation uses are and abuses conservation and management of all sorts of resources either natural or cultural renewable or non renewable are very significant aspects of environmental geography the very fundamental principle of resources is that resources even renewable are finite for example air and water are in abundance and are very much renewable but when they are polluted and degraded they become unusable and non renewable because it becomes very difficult to restore the original quality of air and water if they have been degraded beyond a certain critical limit as these are the two natural resource these are the two resources which are number 1 is a natural resource and second one that is a man made a resource as natural resources which are as a material or substances occurring in nature which can be exploited for economic gain as these resources are fundamental base for the economic growth and development of human society but their withdrawal from the nature mode of their uses by human being and their disposal has have enormous adverse effect on the environment it is thus imperative to study the linkages between resource use and the environment so that proper management of resources both effective resources and resources out of place as a waste materials after use and remedial measures of environmental pollution and degradation arising out of resource use and disposal of waste material may be made possible as a, the examples which are given those are air water wood oil wind energy iron and coal A refined oil and hydroelectric energy are not natural resources because people make them next they are two there are two types of natural resources number one that is a renewable resources and second one that is a non renewable resources now we will see that what renewable resources are renewable resources are as a infinite resources that can be refilled in a short period of time as for example solar geothermal energy from earth heat next one that is wind next biomass energy which we get from burning organic or living matter next one that is water or hydroelectric 
it generates energy from the flow of water so these are the two aspects of resources are of most concern to the present society for future generation they are number one which is a majority of the raw materials of the industries mainly metals have formed and accumulated over a long period of time as for example millions of years through this exceedingly slow geological processes but they are being consumed at present at an alarming rate this may result in low supply of certain key and minerals or even in complete depletion so as uh, thus arises the questions of adequacy and inadequacy of certain key minerals which are present in society must take note of this number second that is a withdrawal and use of minerals have immense impact about the upon the environment for example extraction of minerals creates pits and scars on the earth surface and this leads to destruction of biotic community withdrawal of groundwater results in the formation of large cavities beneath the earth surface which ultimately cause surface collapse and subsidence certain industrial minerals such as metals become wastes after the uses thus disposal of such waste materials into water and soil pollutes them and in few cases the resulting pollution pollution becomes hazardous to human society and other organisms of biospheric ecosystem so uh, the examples which are being taken as a number one which is a nuclear energy so what this nuclear energy is nuclear fusion uses uranium to create energy nuclear energy is a non renewable resource because once the uranium is used it is gone next one next example which have been taken that is of a coal petroleum and gas coal petroleum and natural gases are considered as a non renewable because they cannot be replenished in a short period of time these are called fossil fuels so as a the combustion of mineral oils natural gases and coal pollute the atmosphere the very composition of the atmosphere in terms of natural gas gases composition is altered and modified which consequently affects the atmospheric processes for example emission of carbon dioxide through human volcanoes for example chimneys of factories it creates a yeah, increases the concentration of co2 in the atmosphere which in turn increases the greenhouse effect of the atmosphere resulting into rise of temperature of the earth surface and consequent changes in the radiation or heat balance of the earth as a discussion to the petroleum it is used of in the operation of motor cars trucks rail engines and air crafts releases nitrogen oxide into the atmosphere which may deplete the ozone which is very vital for all types of life on the earth because depletion in ozone may allow ultraviolet solar rays to reach the earth surface this may result in the rise of temperature and thus alteration of terrestrial heat balance 
the release of sulfur dioxide which is made by the SO2 in the air by combustion of fossil fuels causes acid rain. So, uh, yeah, even new substances which are not present previously are introduced in the air, bottle and soils. Such new substances, the result of modern industries, pollute the air, water and soils sometimes to such an extent that they become unusable. The most dangerous one is radioactive substance spewed into the atmosphere by nuclear explosions. These dangerous radioactive substances fall on the earth surface under the impact of precipitation and enter into the soils and thereafter they are circulated into the plants through roots, osmosis and are further circulated into food chains and food waves via different tropic levels and thus become lethal to all of the organisms in general and human beings in particular. Besides radioactive substances also adversely affect the organisms including man and cause deaths impairment of limbs, several types of diseases and physiological disorders of severe magnitude. The catastrophe of nuclear disaster at Chernobyl in Ukraine during 1988 is a burning example. Now also in 2022, this is also one of the examples which is adverse environmental effect of use of minerals like uranium, thorium, etc. Though most advanced and sophisticated technology, the production of rise of several synthetic compounds such as insecticides and herbicides are other examples of new substances coming out of industrial pollution which are used for agricultural purposes but this enters into the surface water and soils and ultimately affect the food chains and organisms thank you thank you very much